Hello, welcome to Home Practice with Stopgap. Um, this class will be looking at articulations in the body. Some of you might already know me. I'm a senior dance artist with Stopgap Dance Company. I am a standing dancer. I'm wearing dark shorts and a vest. I have ringlets and I'm currently five and a half months pregnant. In today's class, we will look at different articulations in the body. So looking at the limbs and their relationship to the center line of the body isolating body parts and then applying different textures and qualities to a simple pattern of movement. And then the class will culminate with a choreographed score where we will incorporate all of the ideas and set material explored. So if you're interested in scores then you can also look back at uh, uh, improvisation class. It's a groundwork class that Thomas Goodwin um, delivered and it's online for you to take a look at, which is a great resource, so please do. Um, we're going to get started. So the first thing we're going to look at is the limbs and their relationship to the centre line. So thinking about the limbs moving distally away from the centre and proximally closer to the centre. We're going to think about the journey that the limbs take. So I'm going to give you some specific ideas to begin. So they can lengthen out and lengthen in. You can unfold out and unfold in. You can combine in two ways. So you can lengthen out and fold in. And you can fold out and lengthen in. Yeah, so there's kind of four options. And then what's really quite nice is to sometimes fold in a limb and lengthen in another limb. So quite a nice way of thinking about the pathway. And then we're also going to look, about, look at our planes in space. So horizontal, which is side to side, vertical, up and down, and then sagittal, forwards and back. And then finally, quite a lot to think about, but it would be a really nice exploration. And um, we're going to look at the image or think about the image of an accordion. So moving away and back towards that center line so that the center line or the spine of the body, you can think of it as today, is quite constant. There's not much going on in the spine. It's really about that pathway of the limbs. And for me, it really helps to think about the breath. So thinking about how as you breathe in, the lungs expand. So the accordion expanding away from the center line. And as you exhale, the lungs shrink. So the limbs coming back to the center line. This might change throughout the exploration, but it's really good to try and support the movement with that breath to begin with. So I want you to find a comfortable upright place to be. Make sure you've got enough room for your limbs around you. And we're just going to begin with the breath. So just a few times, breathing in, noticing how the body expands, and breathing out. And you might find your rhythm very different to mine. So take your own rhythm in accordance with your breath and the movement. Don't inhibit yourself by trying to follow the rhythm that I'm taking. Follow your breath. And then when you feel like you've tuned in to the movement of your breath, just beginning to find very small pathways of the limbs, away, 
and towards your center line. Thinking about the breath. Inhaling as you reach away. Exhaling as you bring your limb closer to your center line. You can begin really small. Maybe you don't extend the limb fully away to begin. Thinking about your planes, the horizontal, the vertical, the sagittal, and then also thinking about how you might combine those planes. Gradually just beginning to deepen your exploration. Always thinking about your breath. Supporting your movement. Thinking about the pathway. Whether you lengthen, whether you unfold. Thinking about your focus. Maybe even thinking about how you might cross the limbs. How you might begin to find diagonals. How you might change your speed. Using your breath. How you can face different directions. Taking your body away from the camera. Thinking about that accordion, out and in. Maybe beginning to unfold and fold the limbs a bit more deeply. Finding your own exploration. A few more with this image of an accordion. Keep moving as I continue to evolve the exploration. We're going to move from the image of an accordion to the image of an octopus. So thinking about how the tentacles undulate, articulate away. There's more range of movement, different pathways, maybe the spine begins to assist the journey of the limbs. Again, thinking about the planes, the breath, maybe the pathway is slightly different, undulating. Breathing. Evolving your exploration. Still thinking about the relationship of your limbs to the centre line. And then gradually bring that down. And we're going to set a pathway. So the same pattern, I should say, for each time through, but we just change the image. So first we take two horizontal movements. Then we take two vertical movements, two sagittal movements, then one trying to combine the planes, see whether you can find multiple planes, and then one finding a cross of the limbs. So find a place to be, and we're gonna start with the accordion, the image of the accordion. If you want, you can pause and set some movement, or you can just follow the exploration with a pattern. 
and we go with the music out, out, in, out, out, let's go, horizontal, out, out, in, out, out, in, vertical, out, out, in, out, out, in, sagittal, out, out, in, out, out, in, combined planes, out, out, in, cross limbs, make sure you're breathing, we take that again, still thinking about the accordion, breathing, big lungs, out, out, in, two horizontal, in, out, out, in, vertical, vertical, sagittal, sagittal, combining planes, crossing limbs, We're going to think about the octopus, same pattern. So how does the sensation change? Different pathways out. Use your breath. Last time through, and you can alternate between the two images, accordion and octopus. Test yourself. Sagittal, Sagittal, combine the planes, cross your limbs, come back to a stable base, tune back into your breath. Take a moment just to settle. So now we're gonna focus on isolating different body parts. And you're just gonna follow me initially, and then we will work on learning a little bit of set material. And I'm gonna go from the head downwards, and at two separate points, I work with the ribs, so where the ribs meet the spine, and the pelvis, or my lowest mobile point of my spine. So if you have a different mobility in your spine to me, I would advise you to find two points on your spine to work from, one higher and one lower. Or if you'd rather, you can repeat the movement twice from the same place. Um, it's just perhaps a bit more interesting if you've got two options. So we're gonna start. So find a really grounded base. I'm gonna go wide um, and also ground your sit bones if you're sitting so you're really kind of into a surface. And we're gonna start with the head and we take four slow and then eight quick. And this pattern we work with quite a lot throughout the isolations. So it's a chicken head first, forwards and back, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Double time. One, two, three, four, four more. Then we're going to go side to side, opening the side of the neck. Take this as big or as small as you need. Double time. Try not to tense up though, relax your jaw. 
We're going to move to the shoulders. We go up, one forward, one back. Down, centre. Other way. So alternating sides. And again. One more. Then we do eight nice and quick. And one. Alternating sides. Don't tense up. Nice and neat. Four more. Then we're going to circle one forward, one back. Four times, nice and slow. Nice and juicy. And then other way. Eight times, nice and quick. One direction. So don't tense up. Other direction. We're going to move to the ribs. Slow figure of eight. Two more. And then we double the time for eight. Four, one, two. Four more. Then we quadruple the time for 16. One. Keep breathing. We're going to swing the ribs side to side. Four more. Nice and swingy. Double time 16. Ha. Eight more. We move to the pelvis or lower in your spine, repeating the same pattern as higher up in the spine. So we go quicker with the figures of eight. For eight. And then we're going to go to 16 quadruple time. Four. Keep it nice and easy. We swing. Four more. Then we go double time, 16. Eight more. We're going to roll in the hip and the shoulder. Open, other side. Look over the shoulder that you're rolling in. Roll in. Open. Roll in. We do double time for eight. Roll in. Roll in. Roll in. Roll in, four more. Keep breathing. A little smile. We move to the wrist, undulating into the fingers. Six, seven, double time, one. Articulating, but don't tense. We go back, we repeat slow. Maybe laying a little bit there underneath the armpits. Double time. Keep breathing. We can go to the other way. One hand and then the other. I'll show you sideways. Five, six, seven, eight. Double time. One, two. Slow. Keep breathing. Double time. We're almost there. And then just shake it out. Shake out your head. Shake out your shoulders. Shake out your ribs and your pelvis, your legs. Good, good, good. Okay, great. We're going to learn a little sequence now and we'll do it slowly before we do it quick. So don't panic, but we're going to draw on all these isolations we've just been using. So again, find a nice grounded base and we start with the head. And so we take a chicken head forward, one, we open the side and, and then we lift the shoulders, two, one forward, one back and, and then we circle the opposite way one forward, one back, three, four. So that goes, head forwards, side, shoulders up, one forward, one back, three, four. And one, and 
two, and three, four. We then do half a figure of eight with the ribs, or the highest point in your mobile spine that you're working with. Five, six, and then we go back with the lower point of the spine. Seven, and then swing side to side, and eight, and eight. So that goes five, six, back, side, side. From the top, one, and two, and three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We then roll in one, two, and open out three, four. And I'm gonna give you some options here, depending on what's most useful for you. So I'm gonna roll in my hip, and then roll in my shoulder, and then open both together. If that's not useful for you, then I have an option where you can roll in the shoulder, look with your head, and then address back, opening the shoulder, head back to the center, three, four. I'm gonna go hip, shoulder, but make sure you choose the most relevant for you. So, in, in, open, open, three, four. We then undulate over with one hand, five, go back with the other hand, six, and then a little wave, seven, eight. And that's the whole sequence, yes? So, that last bit goes in, in, open, open, over the top, back, undulate. And it doesn't matter at the end if you go with the front arm or the back arm first. Yeah, up to you. So, from the top, ready, and one, and two, and three, four ribs, or high point, six, then back, side, side. In, in, out, out, over the top, back, little undulation, like a wave. Let's have a go with music. So, we're just gonna find the point in the music, which will then work within the score. So just have a listen. this fast beat coming in. So this I want you to familiarise yourself with because when we work with the score this is the little riff you'll hear. Yeah? Let's try. Nice and slow. Six, seven and one and two and three, four, five, six. Back, side, side. In, in, open, open, over the top, back, little ripple. Good. Let's take the music back. Try one more time that speed. So we're going to go, we're half time at the minute, so we're not going to that nice beat. But when we go double time, it'll be to this nice beat. Yes? Nice and quick. We go slow again. Five, six, seven, and one, and two, and three, four, five, six, back, side, side. In, in, open, open, over the top, back, little undulation. Good. We'll take the music back one more time and we're gonna do twice through. Speedy, speedy. Yes, yeah, so and nice and quick. <laughs> Using that. Ready? Five, six, seven, and one, and two, and three, four. Five, six, seven, and eight. In, in, out. Over the top. Last time. Five, six, and one, and two, and three. Good. Pause and practice if you need or if you want. It's quite tricky. So maybe you want to keep with it slow. That's totally up to you. And then feel free to go over it as many times as you want before we move on. So with this exercise, first we're just going to listen to the music. 
so we can familiarise ourselves with a rhythmical riff, so a little rhythm. So you'll hear the music come in. Just listen. So, one, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three. I'm going to clap it. You have a go, clapping. Great. Hopefully that's really clear. If you need, just pause and go back and have another listen. We're going to add a pattern in the body now. Very simple. So I'm going to work in turnout in my lower body. But it's just very simple. We're going to start with the arms. And then we are also going to incorporate another part of the body, if you wish, or just remaining in the arms. Totally up to you. So all the pattern is out in to the front, out in to the side, out in to the back, out in to the side. And we just continue that pattern until we've done the rhythm four times through. So the rhythm once through is one, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three. That's one time through and we take that four times. So we're gonna do it twice. I'm gonna take the arms the first time and then the second time I'm gonna take it in the legs. Very sticky floor so it's not so easy for me. If you want the second time to have a variation rather than the arms and you don't want to or it's not suitable for you to use the legs, maybe you think about the elbows, maybe you think about the shoulders, yeah? Or maybe you just focus on the arms. And if you want to consider two points in the body both times, again, that's totally up to you. So, the music will come in. Take a listen. Really absorb the rhythm. Maybe clap. Last time through before we go, I'm going to start with the arms. Nice and easy, and really easy. Just about the pattern and the rhythm. Little pause, then I'm going to take it to my legs, so we keep the music going. If you want, you can repeat in your arms or find a slightly different part of the body. Getting ready. And. Last time through. Good, okay. We're gonna add in another layer of complexity. So we're gonna think a little bit about the texture. So this is slightly more relevant to the arms than the legs, but you can also think about it in the legs as well. So we're gonna soft grab out with the arms to the front, then to the side, we think about the in. We're gonna squeeze in with the armpit, squeeze in with the armpit. And to the back, we jab and release, jab and release. So we have a soft grab, we have a squeeze, and we have a jab. So that's the extra layer, that's all there is. If you want, you can also think about how that translates to the legs. 
or you can keep the legs quite constant, or don't worry too much about adding another layer in a different part of the body. So we're gonna go again, last time through. I'm gonna take once with the arms, with the texture, the pattern and the rhythm, and then I'm gonna add my lower body. Perhaps if you want to add another layer to the movement and you're not working with the legs, you might wanna think about the focus or perhaps something in the head. Very complicated and I'd love to hear your feedback on how that experience was. So let's have a go. Again, just listening a few times. A couple more times. Let it just filter in so it's really there. Getting ready. Little pause, then we take arms and legs. <laughs> it's not so easy. Let the rhythm come back. Getting ready. Last time, squeeze, jump. Okay, good. Again, pause and practice if you need. Have a little break, or we just keep going. <laughs> so now we come to our score, and we have six things that we are gonna play with. So first, we improvised with the idea of working with distally and proximally moving our limbs. So away and toward the center line. So we have this improvisation. This is theme one. And with theme one, we also have our set material. So we have the pattern, horizontal twice, vertical twice, sagittal twice, a combination of the planes once, and crossing the limbs once. So we have theme one, Improvisation, theme one, set material. Then we have theme two. So theme two, we had isolations and we had kind of set material, but I'm gonna now open that up so we can isolate however we want in the body. So we have isolation, improvisation, and then we also have our set phrase. So the one and two and this one. So we have theme two, improvisation, theme two, set material. And then finally, we have theme three. Theme three, thinking about the texture away from and towards the body. And then the set pathway with that rhythm. One, two, one, two, three, four. So we have three potential improvisations. Theme one, theme two, theme three, and three bits of set material. We also have the music, so this is gonna be really clear. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna to listen to the whole piece of music. I'm gonna talk you through the score that we're gonna take, and then we're gonna take it, okay? So, the first theme you'll hear is theme three, which is the one, two, one, two, three, four. You hear it once through the theme. And then we take the set pattern. One, two, one, two, three, four. Yes? The set pattern. 
So we take the set pattern in four times through. So there's two more. Still the set pattern. Last one. Then I'm going to let you improvise for two times through. Bum, 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 bum. Theme three. And then you just have a little bit of time to let it all go. Let it go. Before we come to isolations, we're going to improvise. Two eights or two nice quick rhythms in the head, shoulders, ribs, and pelvis. So, head, got this nice beat. Head, three, four. This is theme two music. So, on the shoulders now. Then we move to the ribs for two. However, you want to play with the ribs or your higher point on your spine, then pelvis. However you want to play. Then we're going to take the sequence, theme two, slow. One and two and three, four, five, six, seven and eight. In, in, out, out, over, back, rippling. Two eights, just to let it go. Do what you need. Then we go quick. Five, six, seven, and eight. In, in, out, over, back. Then it goes into the music for theme one. Out, out. We explore for eight sets of these. Eight sets in your own time, your own exploration. Four more walk, four more. In, however you want to explore that theme. In, out, out. In, out, out. Set pattern. Horizontal for two. Out, out. In, horizontal. Out, in, vertical. Yeah? We remember vertical. Then we did sagittal. In sagittal. We mix the planes. Just marking, we cross limbs. Then you hear theme three come back. And you also hear theme one. And you get to choose. You can play between set material or improvisation of theme one, or set material or improvisation of three. This one. Yes. So your own choice while you hear those two bits of music. And then, Eventually, you'll hear theme two music come back in. And then you can choose between any of the six options. Theme one, improvisation, set material. Theme two, improvisation, set material. Theme three, improvisation, set material. And this will go on for about 12 eights. Just keep moving, keep exploring. So, I've taken you through the whole school, which is kind of epic, but I think it's really important that we learn to dance for a longer time and we begin to consolidate all the learning in the class. So, we're just going to give it a go, see how we get on. We start with theme three and then I'm just going to call it out and we're going to have a go together. So let's do this. So we listen to the riff once through and then we take the set material scene three, uh, theme three. So, you'll hear the music. Ready? And.
Enjoy! Almost there, last time. And then we improvise with theme three. Think about the textures. Then let it go. Just let the body settle. Let it all out. We get ready. Scene two, improvising, head isolations, shoulder isolations, rib, pelvis. So two eights. However, you want to take your head, shoulders, Ribs. Maybe it takes you out in the space. Pelvis. One more eight. Get ready. Slow sequence. One and two and three, four, five, six. Back side side. In. In. Over, back, over, let it go, prepare, we're going to go quick, five, six, seven, and one, and two, and three, four, five, six, back, side, side, in, in, out, over, back, and it goes straight into eight, improvisations, Limbs away towards center line. Get ready for the set pattern. Horizontal. In. Horizontal. Vertical. Vertical. Also, you can think about the octopus. Sagittal. Sagittal. Multiple planes. Crossing the limbs. Then one and three comes back, up to you, you choose. Set material or improvisation? Thinking about the limbs, all that rhythm. Then you're here to come back in. It's coming. Keep moving, keep exploring. It's here. You can choose one, two, or three. However, to the end of the music, maybe you begin to combine, being really clear where you are, listen to the music. However, you want to explore those themes. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Bring it down a little bit. Keep breathing. Bring yourself back. Bring yourself back. Breathe a few times. Nice and easy. 
It's a lot of information. <laughs> so please rewind, try it again. Don't rush yourself or your learning experience. So all that's left to say is thank you for joining the session. And I'd recommend you to repeat the class a couple of times to get the most out of the material. And as I mentioned at the beginning, Thomas Goodwin does a great improvisation groundwork video where he looks at scores. So do take a look at that. And then if you're really interested in texture, Laura Jones does a seed video all about texture in the body. So again, take a look, they're great videos. And like, subscribe and share our videos if you're enjoying joining us and being part of our sessions. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks very much.